Hey okay, everyone, so got the sex already glued, okay, so this is like a special compound that I use, you see, it's like a play-doh but will then stay stuck and uh, it's actually excellent, so now I just let it dry a little bit and then with the little tweezers I pull it and I come, all this leftover just come out, very easy you know. And got the citron one also in place, see? Just got to do the same, let it dry a little bit. Because if I start pulling this now, then um, it starts like pulling the one that's underneath, you know? It's like elastic, so I don't want to do that. Let's just let it dry a little bit, and then we just take all those leftovers, and it will stay excellent. Okie dokie. You guys will see how it will stay very beautiful and now had to take the bumper out so i could work better on this so yep here we are in a big mess <laughs> um so trying to now fit the two fans because i want both of them operating for the radiator okay it looks a bit dirty but i'm going to clean it up don't worry um, and now the oil radiator I already got some supports here which I'm going to use them so that I can bring the oil radiator here to the middle okay see where this triangle is that's where this is so it's going to be more or less up here the radiator because that's where I got the most space in the bunk you see that's where I got the most spaces here in the middle Okay, so that's what I'm going for. But normally they put it always on the side. But I don't agree with that because you can still have the two fans and have that in the middle and there's still space. Now normally people don't do this on the Citroen Saxo. So I'm gonna make it happen, make it work because I have a lot of tools and a lot of ideas and I think it's gonna go well. So that will be interesting. Now I got something to cover the license plate so I can film with more liberty. <laughs> Took time. If something so simple, I was just complicating it too much. So I just cut a bit of PVC, you know, and that's it. <laughs> I wanted black, but I wasted all the black uh, PVC that I had. So I have to go for the blue, yeah, unfortunately. But you know, what can you do? So the symbols are ready. As you can see, so quite easy. Um, so you just let it dry a bit, and it becomes like a dough, you see. And then this will just become harder, and then it just gets stuck there, you know, for a long time. It's good because it's um, waterproof. It's got anti-UV protection, so it's quite cool. So what you guys think about the the symbols? Pretty cool, and eh? what a difference! What a difference! There's a bump here that came with the car. Really, I gotta get that uh, pull out. Then I'll show you guys where I get it done. They take um, all the bumps and dents out without having to paint. You know, quite cool the technique that they use. That's an uh, old mark on the floor. Forgive me for that, guys. But I'm going to take the washing pressure machine and I'm going to get that uh, cleared out okay so yes because it always looks very bad on the videos so I also used for not this symbol this symbol I also use the same um, the same system and it's all good didn't move nothing so yeah pretty cool from that old all scratched up symbols to these good looking dark gray that goes actually with the bumper i even forgot i had uh, the citroen the citroen sorry <laughs> the volkswagen caddy gray as well but it's a bit lighter so i think this darker um batman gray just stayed excellent you know that that looks cool eh now people are going to respect it more, you know, because it's not like, what a difference it makes. Amazing.
Okay, so now I'm going to keep on working on the... That still took me like uh, an hour almost to clear out, so... Yes, my legs are tired. <laughs> so now I'm going to continue on this. Um, so I've got the two fans and this is where I'm going to place this, okay? I'm going to place this right here. Or upside down, I'm not sure. Um, actually, now I was thinking about it. Upside down also wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. Although, I do have more clearance on top, and in case something happens, if I hit the bottom part of the bumper, maybe it's safer to have the pipes on the top side. Um, I'm still not sure. Now I'm thinking about it. It wouldn't be a bad idea. I could just pop this into the bottom side. Hmm. Okie dokie. So, um, all my ideas that I had went down the drain. None of them worked. <laughs> so I just uh, stopped a bit, prayed, and the Lord gave me a different answer, completely different idea than what I had. Um, it did not work there, the radiator and uh, it wouldn't work anywhere else there is no space here there's no nothing so i was praying the lord said put the bar at the bottom use these i I even forgot that i had these uh, l-shaped steel plates that are very strong because i have this um, as you can see this curve that just reinforces it see so let me see if i can zoom there you go and uh, very very strong i mean i could put my almost weight on it this bar two bar is uh, four millimeter thick so it's quite strong and it's going to reinforce this bottom chassis okay um that supports the radiator and everything else so i just drilled some six and a half millimeter uh, through the tube and across the chassis here um, and a bit of a 14 millimeter wider hole in front so that I can pass uh, any type of screw that I want okay and I can tighten it to the inner side of the wall because it's very thick tube so I don't like tightening on the outside of the tube because then I might bend the tube and get loose so it's always safer to make sure that it's going to stay strong for a long time. So, I previous measured the radiator to make sure that it fits between these two L steel plates. And um, now I have to bring the radiator here. I'm going to have to cut this little plastic um, that's sticking out here. Piece of plastic. I'm going to push the relays inside. Turn them the other side, use the cover that was in at the back, use the cover that was in the back for the front, okay, which will stay very low profile, and so that water doesn't get in, and use the front cover that used to pop out a bit more, which is over here, okay, use the front lid for the back part of the fan supports. Uh, that is the plan and it is working well. So next I'm going to cut this now, push this down, do all I have to do on this. You'll see this all covered up. Then I'll bring the radiator, oil radiator, I'll put it on top here. Yes, I'm going to have to clean the floor because this was dirtier than I thought. I could have put a plastic on the floor, but I was just like, you know, too concentrating on the work. I just forgot. So I'm going to, because I'm going to have to water pressure washing machine the floor, uh, then I'll just clean the whole rest, you know. So I said, ah, not going to damage a, a good sheet that I can use for something else, you know. <laughs> Um, I only have a uh, cardboard, you know, I don't have plastic, but cardboard just sucks it in anyways and dirty, so I'll take care of that later on, and I'll try not to dirty more, but I will clean it, so you guys will see. 
Um, so now I'm going to put the radio on top here um, so that I know the distance okay that I need from the fan so that's when they're turning they don't hit the radiator so I have to make sure it's going to keep the I think it's going to be like a 10 millimeter or 15 millimeter I should actually probably have gotten some light over here sorry guys forgot all about the lighting just going to pause very quickly get some lights here because I can see that it's getting dark on the camera okay much better wasn't focusing without lights you actually need a good lighting to do the videos um, something I've been learning no good shooting in the dark <laughs> okay so where was I yes then I'm going to see the the minimum gap I can go closer to the fans possible because they always are a bit eccentric, you know, um, waving a bit like that. It's plastic, so it's normal. Uh, I'm going to see the maximum I can come out, and then what am I going to do? Drill the holes for the radiator, um, tighten the radiator in place, and then I'm going to bring the bumper, okay, and see if everything fits. If everything fits right, then I'm going to mark where I have to cut this one and this one, paint the whole support put it back on and then bring the hose pipes uh, the oil hose pipes okay one's going to come through here I am going to close this over here okay I'm going to reinforce this um, I'm probably going to like put two screws plus two screws okay and just reinforce it with some stainless steel bar like this one over here make it super strong okay it's going to be stronger than what it was because this was already opened here so it was closed here but it was already open here there's no supports whatsoever and no one no one cut this it's just how it is you know to get uh, into that clamp there to take the pipe out i'm sure so um i'm going to just screw uh the two screws on each side and put the stainless steel bar just to reinforce it then keep it all tough um, and that's practically it so I think I'm gonna get this ready today I'm gonna change the engine oil again just let it run for five minutes then I'm gonna remove the engine oil remove the oil filter change the oil filter put new oil inside and I'm gonna change again the oil of the gearbox okay so we already got the markings of the oil radiator here and here I'm going to drill four holes this is to tell me where the bumper grill plastic grill stops um, I'm going to cut a portion of that grill out so that it doesn't hit here as well like that I know the limits and I'm going to bring another steel bar from down here okay coming all across to this side and down here like that if someone hits with the bumper this will be reinforced okay it will be like a, a, a protection because this is quite quite hard now I mean it won't move that easily you know you got to I know that when you hit with the car it's different but it will at least uh, reinforce even with the lightest bump you know the lightest bump was worrying me um, it will reinforce this whole structure so that the radiator won't get uh, hurt I'm also going to bring a, a steel frame around like that to hook on the top part of the oil radiator and on this side as well so I'm going to get to that and then I'll show you guys the final product how it stays and this will already be painted and in place okay oh I also cut this cover as you can see it stayed much thinner it was out here so I cut it and it became all the way in um, I put this frame right here okay aluminium I really there, it only had one screw but because it used to go inside this part and um, because I cut it much thinner it used to be like 10 15 millimeters and that's like only four um, this would just start swerving around and it could stop the fans from working and like that I put this here and it will secure underneath as you can see and this cannot turn over you see now it's stuck in place so all is going well thank you jesus for giving me this idea
and the structure is done everyone finally this gave a bit of work just to you know create it see how it was all going to fit there bit bumper take bumper bit bumper take bumper off um but it's still quite cool so it's all ready now i'm just going to paint it give it a, a prime paint it in gray light gray to match the the chassis of the car and then we'll take the radiator and we'll just um slide it in okay booyah so this will have like a, a little spring action okay it's bendable a little bit because that's what i wanted you know so that it clamps in place um very cool i'm happy okay let's get to the painting okay so the structure is in place it is hard tight already okay um there's a lot of space for the fans to turn around yeah as well um so next step will be to put the radiator on the supports okay um tight everything together and start bringing the pipes which i have insulated already and i will show you guys uh, how the pipes are looking here are the rubbers on the pipes already the hose the oil pipes okay as you can see this part i didn't have to put the sleeves because that part isn't going to be in contact with anything but here's a silicone sheet with silicone with fiber gloss for hyper temperature um and i also tied it up with teflon tape but not teflon the white one that normally use with water pipes this is special for high temperature as well so it's also got fiber inside and um the rubber all around so no more vibration no more nothing so it's got the silicone sheet all the way to the engine okay where it comes out the oil and it stops just right here okay just this little bit and this thick rubber um sleeve around it okay for vibrations heat everything so we are ready now something fell i was seeing what it was <laughs> and now um i'm gonna put the radiating spots and put the hoses oil hoses back and then we're going to test it out guys okay so almost done now we just have to tomorrow because it's getting dark now we have to push that um, tighten the pipes in the right position we already got everything marked I have to cut the rubber and tool down there where that yellow mark is and got to put a space over there something to push it towards this side something in plastic turn it all up um one to another this one still goes underneath and um it's gonna work eh? i can't believe it finally so everything is good there's a lot of gap okay for the fans for everything excellent so tomorrow we finish one will you see it see Now it's just doing the finish ups. Okay, so everything's done. <laughs> Finally, all finished up. Got two finger tolerance here as well. Okay, can put my fingers wherever I want, pass with it. Um, no noise, no anything. Sleeves with rubber <laughs> and silicone heat shield and teflon heat shield as well so everything is super secure and um, this is all hard and steady not going anywhere um, so i have to give some extra supports some plastic uh, ties okay just to make, hold it up here but a stainless steel reinforcements here to maintain the chassis intact uh, more ties 
and as you can see all the clearance let me switch on the lights here get the lights here sorry guys and as you can see all tied up my knees are quite hurting because being on your knees two days in a row is not easy so i gotta do some extra exercise so as you can see all tied up here one hose is coming out through here and the other one is going through inside there good tolerance good everything so now we are ready to try it out okay so let's get to it let's see i've already checked the oil level and it is good have oil have everything Okay, so I switched it on a little while and now I'm just going to check the oil level again just to make sure and see if there's no any leaks. Okay, everything is working. Take it down a little bit. I've already put some spray on the belt, stopped making noise, but there was something else that was also uh, not well there. I'll show you guys just now. really cool that we have this space over here just to do this stuff you know so underneath here you guys have to be careful see this of the alternator and we go get a light so you see this here these wires they have a sleeve they're going through this guy so if you don't put a, a tie over here will start hitting on the on the poly see on the poly so you gotta be careful with that yeah so that was actually making the noise but I still the spray anyways I've got that tied up as well uh, it's all tied up all secured all good Running well, now we're going to change the oil and the gearbox oil as well. We're going to see if the fans are working, both to the same side. And um, just got to wait so that it heats up. It's not making the noise it was making, it was a com complete disaster. Making a vibration, that's a little bit of it. It was vibrating a lot against the plastics and everything else. Now it's all good. Now it is all good fans once they start working we'll know everything's good put it back on the ramps change the engine oil gearbox oil the oil filter and that's it good to go for a road trip <laughs>
Hot water, hot spring water. This is like so hot you can't even put your hand almost. You can only leave it for like <laughs> okay, like four seconds. <laughs> crazy. Everyone's going crazy with <laughs> Old antique box. Look at that. It's made out of stone and marble. So they used to bath in those days. Okie dokie. So everything's done. Check it out, guys. Look at this beautiful spacing we got here. Hey, with the bumper in place, um, it even stayed better. <laughs> So we just had to cut the other little piece of rubber there and then it continues from there onwards okay into the chassis there you guys can see you see if i can zoom there you go see from there on it's all rubber again just took this part just to give it more margin here next to the fan um this side we have plenty of space as you can see the radiator also has like 10 to 15 millimeters between the fan and the radiator so it ended up being a pretty good job very hard it wasn't easy i'm not gonna lie um i gave more stability to the to the bumper because there's a lot of stuff that weren't well tightened screws i had to make new threads and everything and it became to be much better than what it is right now um, I didn't have time to cover the license plates, so I'm just gonna blow it up. <laughs> but yes, stayed pretty, pretty good. I also changed this pipe over here for the silicone uh, one because you don't get the original ones anymore. So this was another fix. And um, radiator fans, I kept both of them, which was my plan. They're both working perfectly. Um, on and off on and off this was previously painted because I got like three pairs of fans of these Because you can't easily find fans for this car. I Just bought like three pairs that are in the internet used um, So they're gonna be some are gonna be with sprayed with different colors <laughs> from previous cars, you know um, People must have sprayed the cars and they always get the fans. So, you know uh, Homemade jobs, maybe Hey, as long as it works, that's it. <laughs> Not gonna judge anyone. So um, everything worked out. Um, you can't really see underneath right now. I can pretty much show you. I put the new oil filter, as you can see. That's the stainless steel performance head exhaust. And they're all neat, all tidied up stayed much better than what it was and uh, ground clearance all cleared up no hose pipes no nothing so i'm happy with this it was a tiring job but we got it done okay so now i can drive this car with no worries at all about heating or anything um, it takes more oil than they used to of course because it's got to fill up these hoses and the radiator but it's worth it um, driving the car and everything it's really changed a bit oil temperature gauge takes much longer to heat up it doesn't even go to middle like it used to um, and having the two fans just goes on and on very quick 
but the water temperature of the coolant is not heating up it doesn't even compare to how much it was heating up before because before the oil radiator was there right next to the oil filter and this was getting all this heat from the exhaust you see because the tubes would come here to the thermostat so it's uh, like a hundred percent difference i mean now it's like this car is ready to go guys it is ready to go hello everyone welcome to the daily life project channel and we are back <laughs> okay so i hope you guys enjoyed that content of the citroen saxo quite interesting isn't it um anyone can do it okay very easy and the car race was also very cool i just I just love it <laughs> and uh, right now you can see the caddies with the hood open because I'm doing the gearbox oil change which I will leave for the next video so stay tuned guys okay and um, videos are going to come like almost daily now because I was too occupied like doing the job you know so I couldn't really like I told you guys I don't have no one to like film for me so I couldn't really like camera and work because I was so like, you know, focused into solving the problem <laughs> that I just um, had to say, okay, I'll do the work, take some clips and then edit the video and then show it to them. So this week going to have much more content, different stuff like um, see some interesting sites, okay. Um, probably a car review, still not sure if I'm going to keep that for the next week. Um, to not make the content too like you know uh, confusing and then um, some more project updates which is going to be cool um, and I'm going to take some time off just to do the videos okay so it's more going to be focused just on the on the channel so stay tuned guys okay and see you on the next one out, out.